In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to attach a light to a first person or a third person blueprint game template so you can have a light follow your character. And I did this to simulate that found footage light that I wanted to have for this liminal space environment asset pack I created. So here's how to do this in blueprint for first person and for third person. First, let's do this for the first person game template. I have this environment using infinity tiled rooms and pools and it contains no lights. It's completely dark. And this is where we're gonna test things out. Navigate to the first person folder and then go into blueprints and open up BP first person character. And then click over to the viewport tab. Here is where we're gonna add that light. So in the left hand side on the components or in the viewport, select where do you want to attach the light to. So in my case, I wanna attach it to the camera. So it follows the camera. Every time we turn, the light will turn with the view with the camera. So I'm gonna select the first person camera and I go to add and search for a light. In my case, I'm gonna use rectangular lights, but you can use a point light, you can use a spotlight. I like using rectangular lights because by default they have the soft shadows as the light leaves the camera, it's light source, and the further the light goes away, the shadows get softer as the light goes away, further from the camera, further from the source, and it creates more natural effect. So I'm gonna select the rectangular light, it gets added to the first person camera right here, and you can see it inside the viewport, it shows up. And with it selected, you can go ahead and tweak any of the properties for the light inside the details panel. So you can adjust the intensity, you can adjust the color, the source width, height, and every property that you are used to when you're using this light inside the level. Instead, now it is part of the blueprint. So right now, I'm just gonna lower the intensity to 4000. Once you've adjusted the properties, go ahead, compile, save, and then let's spawn inside the map. Right click, play from here. And now, my light is attached to the character as I move around and it creates that found footage effect. So for the first person, it's pretty simple. If uh, the effect of it, the intensity or the radius is not enough, just go back to the blueprint, select the light and adjust more of the properties. Recompile, save and test again. For third person, navigate into the third person folder, go to blueprints and open up BP third person character and then go to the viewport tab. Here, it's the same thing. You just have to decide where you're going to attach the light. Are you gonna attach it to the camera or you're gonna attach it to the character? I'm gonna show you both. So to attach it to the camera, select the camera. And with it selected, go to the components, click add and choose a light you wanna add. Let's go ahead and add the same light, rectangle light. It's gonna be attached to the camera. So anytime I pan the camera, that light is gonna be attached and panned with it. I'm not gonna change any properties, but you can. Just go through the details panel and adjust the light settings that you need. You may have to come back to this depending how it looks inside the level. Let's go ahead and hit compile, save, and I'm gonna spawn inside the map, the same exact location. Instead, I need to switch over inside my world settings from game mode override from first person to third person. And I added a third person blueprint into the same project so I have two ways that I can spawn inside my environment as a first person or as a third person. And I like to prototype using both. I have a short video on how to do this if you want to have that functionality inside your project. So now let's go ahead and spawn. And I have the found footage light effect with my character following my character and it's attached to the camera. It's actually a much better version than attaching it to the character. But if I want to have a light attached to the character instead, let's go back to the blueprint let me select this light, I'm gonna delete it, and I'm gonna select the character. And then go to the component, you can see the mesh has been selected, and I'm gonna attach that light to the mesh character. I'm gonna click add, and again search for light that you wanna use, and let's go ahead and use a spotlight for this. I'm gonna select the spotlight, it's been attached to the mesh, and then we can reposition this inside the viewport. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it, so let's just say it's uh, this light is going to be attached to this little light on the chest. Let's move it up, and I'm gonna lower my grid to one so I can position that light better. And just position it right in front of this chest light. And then also I'm gonna rotate it slightly so it kind of points towards with the character. So anytime the character moves, the light is attached to it and it will also move with it. I'm not going to change any settings. Of course you would, just based on what it looks like inside the level. I'm gonna hit compile, save, let's spawn, see what that looks like. And you can see that the light is now attached to the chest, almost like a flashlight that's going from the character itself. It's a little weird because you are rotating the character and you have to rotate the camera with it. But if you need this effect with the light actually visible on the character and attached to the character, this is how you do so. It's a very cool effect. And this is how you attach lights to a blueprint game template characters.